So we are here today at Charlotte BMX here in Punta Gorda, Florida. We've actually been here a couple of times to race and it's a really, really amazing track. And the reason why we're here tonight is definitely a sad one. Um, PJ O'Brien, a kid that actually grew up riding at my parents' skate park and also at the track behind our bike shop. He moved down to Florida uh, actually a couple years before we did and this is actually his local track. His mom and dad have always been in his life and they've helped him throughout the years go from a kid that was just riding at the BMX track to becoming a professional BMX racer. PJ's dad actually passed away recently and tonight they're actually doing a benefit race for PJ to raise money to further his BMX career. So tonight we're going to honor PJ's dad so i know it's not under great circumstances that we are back here tonight but we are going to race again so you got to be uh kind of excited to get back on the track a little bit right because you used to love this track yeah this track's really fun we haven't really been here much so i'm glad to be back here regardless um either way i just love racing so i'm yeah. always excited to come come race uh so i guess we should tell everybody that you just signed up for the worlds right you're oh officially yeah I just finished my registration for this year's worlds in rock hill it's pretty exciting. I got like two, a little over two months, I think. Yeah, when are the dates? May, beginning of May, or mid-May. Yeah, mid-May. So, so, uh, man, that's um, crazy. You got to get to work, huh? Yeah, I haven't really been on the track at all. I don't want to lie to you guys. I haven't touched it probably <laughs> since I made that video. Yeah, you were track. flying for a little bit. Yeah, I started to feel really good. I changed up all my equipment, got some new new clips on my bike, Yep. new tires. Um, this bike's probably going to feel really light today, I'm assuming, oh, right? Oh, I put a new gearing on. What kind of gearing you got? Gearing. Let's see. What do you got? I went up to a 45, 45? 16. Okay, so a little bit taller gear. I just uh, kind of want to try it out. There's a little bit of the experimental phase. I used it at Naples one day, mm. and uh, I can't say it felt good. It was too hard for how flat little the track is. Yeah, that track is. So off the gate. Okay. This might feel a little better, a little more it's downhill. It's got a steeper uh, you know, starting hill for sure. And this got to be a, I mean, not, I'm not going to say a longer track, but a more open track. Yeah, I think so. so. It should be beneficial, okay. I would think. That's exciting. We'll so. see what happens with that one. So we're actually one of the first people here. Nobody's even showed up yet. So we're going to try to have a good night in honor of PJ, PJ's dad, PJ's mom, and uh, we'll see what happens. So that's PJ on the gate all the way to the right side of the screen. She's talking to him. So he just got this new bike. And he's just been training a lot, just getting ready for the race season. He's got a bunch of big races coming up, but it's just great to see him on his bike, just doing what he does best. And uh, just hoping that you know he could just keep this focus and keep this determination and have an amazing year. All right, let me show you this bike. Me and Maddie are obsessed with it. Look at the carbon, carbon fork carbon frame that is legit it's just a natural carbon that does I, I i just love it i think it looks so cool i've been looking into how to make aluminum frames look carbon oh that's yeah. i'm sure it's been very I'm easy to find huh carbon dip my yeah. i love it i would love to get a bike like that okay it's almost game time i am moto 35 tonight so it's going to be the 26 to 35 expert class i have five riders in my moto and we do have a main <laughs> basically it's 2-2 two, two. so they have a race the top two riders move on to the main or the third moto they have another race with only three riders the top two move on to the moto so one person gets dropped but enough said we're gonna get into the races right now so wish me luck all right so this is maddie's first race right now he's on the gate there's five riders he's got to get top two to move on so far he's got a good line into the first turn, but he is nervous about that first turn right there, so he's going to have to do some picking up. Ooh, Maddie went to the outside. That was not the fastest line. He's got some work ahead of him right now. He has got to do a full pull in this last straightaway to be able to move on, or he's going to have to do another race. We're going to see right now. I don't know what to say. I don't know. That's Amanda she is announcing, but she also runs the track. I don't know, I don't know either. That was close. That was insane, dude. You just had the closest race that I have ever seen between three riders. Pretty much I've seen ever. Two I've never people. seen a side by side by side, huh? Never three like that. Wow. But just crazy. Think about it. Caleb had that thing in the back. He stretched super early, stopped pedaling. And then you and the other guy, I don't even know his name, 
but you guys came through and you guys got first and second, and that means you you don't have to drive the second race. To a main event. I only got two races tonight. Because you didn't quit. That was nuts, dude. Okay. Well, let's talk about the first straightaway into the turn, because I know you were super nervous about that. Everything got messed up. <laughs> and, it was bad. And you definitely were like, oh no, I'm screwed. I came out the gate okay. I kind of had a decent position going in the first turn, because I was gate four, so I was mid-pack. Mm -hmm. And uh, going right in that turn, Caleb's right there. He was actually really nice. He wasn't too aggressive. He wasn't too aggressive, but aggressive enough that I couldn't take the inside line. I had to take the pro Yeah, set. you took the big jumps, and that and was super slow. That. I didn't want to yeah, everybody just went very past you on that one. Is that the guy you raced right there? Yeah. That was that, he's the one that won. Did you think you won when you crossed the finish line? I thought he won. You ended up winning. Isn't that crazy? Sorry you don't get to race again. Yeah, sorry. You got to sit this one out. <laughs> yeah, we just showed him the footage and he couldn't believe it. He had no idea what place he got. <laughs> We're just like, hey, you won. He's like, I thought like, you won. Around, like, he's like, wait, what? Because I thought you won. <laughs> Crazy. Unbelievable. So but much controversy. Yeah. Moto 35 is chaos. It was. But hey, I'm excited about this main now. This is going to be a lot of fun. Dude, I think... Oh, wait. No, I don't. You get to use... I had gate 8 next. Oh, yeah? So that would have been... I would have been pro set no matter what. True. Okay, well, we'll see what happens in the main. <laughs> this is going to be fun. All right, so I'm up in the announcer tower right now, and uh, the first race that I'm going to be showing you out of the mains is actually the open race. So this is going to be pro, this is going to be all the fast kids. Um, I'm going to show you this race because it's going to be epic. So this is exciting. So you're going to see this one first, and then we're going to see Maddie's race. Here's the race. Gate's about to drop. It drops down, bro. Open. Wow. $100 on the line. In Eight the riders. Line. There's PJ. No one better than Mr. PJ O'Brien out front sitting in oh, the one gotta spot. Oh, got to get some focus. Right, sitting in the two spot. Bardell in front of three. All right. Sitting in the four spot. Winner takes all. 100 bucks. So PJ bucks. has Coming got the lead. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There we go. Yes. That is awesome. Whoa, not again. Not again. All right, so Matty is now on the gate. It looks like he's got gate four. This is a really good gate for him, as long as he can get a good start. He needs some strong pedaling down this first straight. He's not an aggressive rider at all, so he needs to be the first one out of that first turn. So far, he's got a pretty good jump on the guys. A lot different than the first time around. But the guy behind him, he knows what he's doing. He's good. Maddie went on the inside line that time, didn't take the pro set. All right, let's see if we can get a good shot of Maddie landing or going to the last one. Oh, Maddie is flying right now. I don't think there's going to be a close call this time, but definitely awesome to see Maddie get that win. Oh, that was pretty close at the end there, Ken. Wow. That went pretty smooth compared to the other one. But let's talk about what really happened. Why was that race substantially um, less challenging than the first one? It was no brain. I was first one out of the gate, first one of the All first. Right, no, let's no, say, come okay. on, what happened? Uh, Caleb brought up as we were walking up the start line. He's like, "What if you race underhanded?" And then nobody entertained entertained the idea. <laughs> and then I snapped out of the gate. I actually had a pretty good gate. I felt yeah, like yeah. I was out there. Doing my thing, and I'm like, Caleb should be next to me. This is weird. And then uh, I realized, I was like, oh, he's racing the whole race underhanded. <laughs> so he raced the whole entire race underhanded. So and he crazy. hit the pro jumps. That's underhanded. insane. That's insane. So he crossed the line, and everyone's like, how did you do that? And he's just like, I thought that'd be really, that was pretty easy. I was like, what? Ridiculous. I was like, really well, was. I'm happy that I won, but is it really a win? Yeah. You know? Caleb yeah. would have smoked me any other day. I so. can't believe. Yeah, imagine if you would have had the ride underhanded. Forget about it. But I don't think I would have made it across track. But did you? Off. But did you at least enjoy the race day? No, I had a really good time. It felt really good. Everybody just was like really happy here, and everyone yeah. had a really good time. And I felt like it was a very good gathering of of people. You yeah. know, I think um, racing as a whole has such a good community, and every time everyone gets together and see how many motos and people that got together for you know unfortunate passing of PJ's father like I just it felt good everything felt good being here with everybody so absolutely um, the racing everybody made it out safe yep which is always a good sign and PJ is looking faster than he is ever he's looking super fast it's like a joke he's so looking super sick. fast so I'm sick so I'm excited to see what happens with him in the me future too. Like, me too he's got three big races coming and we're gonna be watching every single one of them super excited rooting for him
And speaking about PJ, tonight they donated everything to PJ's family. I mean, all the entries, all of the food money, all the shirt money that they were selling, like everything went to PJ and his family. Like BMX is amazing. And I'm just so happy to see that PJ is still doing what he loves and he's still pushing out his BMX bike in honor of his dad, you know, and that's really, really amazing. But yeah, I want to say huge shout out to Charlotte BMX here. If you guys are interested in racing, you guys are in this area in Punta Gorda, make sure you come by. Everybody here is so nice. They run this racetrack amazing. And I am just so grateful that we live close enough that we can be part of it as well. And we plan on being part of it more. So that's it for this one, guys. We'll see you in the next video.